In this video, you will learn how to prepare a bridge joint with teak wood battens. Take two teak wood batten pieces of 25 mm by 12 mm or 1 inch by 0.5 inches in size with same length of 50 cm or 20 inches. Locate one batten over the other batten crosswise at the center. Mark the respective width of the other batten on each piece. Check the correctness of the marking using a tri-square. Mark the line along the center of thickness 6 mm or 0.25 inches on the two sides of both the pieces along the length. Remove the marked portion from the pieces by using a saw and chisel. File the sawed portion to smoothen the surface. Using screws, join the two pieces to make a cross joint without corners. Now, take the teak wood batten of 25 by 12 millimeters or 1 inch by 0.5 inches size with a length of 275 millimeters. Mark a length of 50 millimeters, 2 inches, from the ends on both sides. Mark the diagonal lines on both sides of the piece. Remove the marked portion from the pieces using saw. File the sawed portion to smoothen the surface. Fix the bridged piece over the cross joint to form a bridge joint. Thus, you have learned how to make a bridge joint with teak wood battens. In this media, we are going to see about the batten wiring of a lamp and socket which are controlled independently. The circuit and layout diagrams are shown. In this circuit, there are two single pole, single throw switches, S1, S2. Draw the layout in the wiring board. From the layout diagram, determine the length and number of cables to be used for wiring. Cut the batten and prepare the batten joints as per layout. Drill holes in the wiring board as shown. Fix the battens on the wiring board using screws. Run the cable over battens as per the layout. After marking the position for link clips, fix the link clips over the batten using nails. Fix the ceiling rows. Fix the 3-pin socket and the switch S1. Fix the lamp and the switch S2. Give the connections as per the wiring diagram. By inserting a suitable plug into the socket, connect an electrical load like television. Switch on the S1 switch. The television will turn on. Switch on the S2 switch. The lamp will glow. The lamp and the socket can be controlled by the different switches, S1 and S2. Hence, the batten wiring for a lamp and a socket are controlled independently. In this media, you will learn about the PVC conduit wiring for controlling four power sockets independently. A typical circuit and layout diagrams are shown. In this circuit, there are four single pole, single throw switches, S1, S2, S3, and S4. Mark the layout in the wall. From the layout diagram, determine the length and number of cables used for wiring. Fix the PVC conduits on the wall. Insert the cables as per the wiring diagram. Fix the three pin sockets and the switches. Give the connections as per the wiring diagram. By inserting a suitable plug into the socket, connect the lamps to the sockets. Switch on the S1 switch. The lamp L1 will glow. 
Switch on the S2 switch. The lamp L2 will glow. Similarly, the switches S3 and S4 are also turned on. The lamps L3 and L4 will glow. The lamps connected to the socket can be controlled by their own control switches. Hence, the PVC conduit wiring for four power sockets controlled independently. In this exercise, you will learn about PVC conduit wiring for calling bell and a buzzer. The wiring and layout diagrams are shown. Trace the layout in the wall. Fix the PVC conduit as per the layout. Fix the switches, calling bell, and buzzer. Then give the connection as per wiring diagram. Test the wiring. In the exercise, you will learn how to cut the given mild steel MS pipe using hacksaw. Fix the given mild steel pipe on the V-shaped bench vise. File the one end of the tube for obtaining a flat surface. Check the flatness of the filed side using a tri-square. Apply chalk over the entire outer surface of the MS tube. Mark line for the cut on the MS pipe using Scriber. Mark continuous dots on the marked line using a dot punch. Fix the given mild steel pipe on the V-shaped bench vise. Cut straightly along the marked line using a hacksaw. File both the sides of the cut pipe using a second cut file for a smooth flat finish. Check the flatness of the filed side using a tri-square. Thus, you have learned how to cut a MS pipe using hacksaw.